Hello everyone, what's up? Thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be doing items in M Creator. So of course I have to open it, so one second. Alright, so you're going to think of the item that you want. Uh, I'm just going to do something random. I'm just going to do a random or let's just say amethyst. I want to make amethyst, so I'm going to go down until I find item. Click it. And then go ahead and type in the name. I don't know how to spell amethyst, so one second. All right, now I have it. I'm gonna look up a picture for reference. Once I find a picture that I like, I'm going to have it on my other monitor. And I'm going to press create new item. Of course, you don't need a reference image. You can do it from your brain or whatever. But I always like having a reference image if I'm doing something from real life. Now, from here, you are going to go ahead and click item texture. Click create texture or import texture. It matters if you want to create it in M Creator or import it from a different program if you press create it will ask you if you want a template transparency transparency color or no layer you should probably do transparency if you want to make it all from scratch if you want something that's already has like a layer to help you out uh, you can do that and then color it differently um, but usually i would just go transparency if you're making it from scratch Press create. Now uh, you can use these colors over here. Mine's going to be like a purplish, purplish pink, mostly purple though. And I'm going to go ahead and make it. So I'm going to do a little time lapse here and I'll be back when I'm done. All right, as you can tell, I'm not the best artist, but I'm just going to go with this for now. Um, I'm probably going to put a little bit more work into this uh, another time. Also, uh, you might be thinking why I pick Amethyst. It's because this is 1.17 for M Creator I'm using, uh, so it doesn't actually have it in the game yet. So now you're going to press save this texture at the top right if you're done, or if you imported the texture, and press item and you have to name it if you made it in M Creator. Also I forgot but you cannot use capital letters. After you've saved it you can go back to here and then click item texture and it should be there. Press select and you can add some special information about this I'm just gonna say actually I'll add that after I do the ore generation I'll make a video in that in the future you can make it glow if you want in the properties you can change the rarity which it says like whatever color the text shows up as that's what Minecraft does some are common uncommon rare I would just keep this as common. You can change the in-game name if you want. You can change what creative inventory tab it's in. It's going to be a material. You can change the max stack size. You can change if it's enchantable or not. You can change if it destroys stuff faster or slower than usual. You can change if it does more damage to mobs or animals than normal, but mine is just in a, a gem, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, you can make it run out if you use it too much. You can make it immune to fire. You can make it destroy any block. I would not recommend that, but you can. 
you can make it stay in the crafting grid when crafted so uh, it wouldn't fix it automatically and go back into your inventory it would stay in the crafting grid um and that's basically all you need to know unless if you're trying to do a damaged item like when an item gets damaged whenever you're crafting which I'll, I don't even know what that is so I'll probably look into that and you can also change an animation for how long it takes for, to do the animation you can make this item have a GUI like a chest And I'll show you how to do that in another video. Just always tell me in the comments what you guys want the most. If a comment has a lot of likes or I see it and I'm really interested in it, then I will do it. On this at the end, the triggers is basically if you want this to, item to do anything special. Like if you want it to do a lightning strike comes from the sky whenever you right click it or anything special like that. You can look at these if you want to do that. I'm going to save it and now that should be our item it's pretty easy to make this might be one of the shorter videos um, but there is a lot of options you can play around with to make it glow to make it do a certain trigger and all that stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and launch the game and let's see how this goes all right once you've loaded into the world you should be able to go to the tab that you said you wanted it in and I wanted mine in which tab also you can just search for it here but I put it in one of these tabs I don't know which one exactly oh, yep here in miscellaneous amethyst just scroll all the way to the bottom since it's the newest item it's gonna be all the way at the bottom of whichever tab you put it in and here it is it is an item in game now that you can see you can throw around and it's just like any other minecraft item that you would have i hope your texture is better than mine because i kind of kind of did a speed run on that uh but it's fine i'll probably work on that and also i should probably turn this music down i'm sorry if that was loud but yeah thank you for watching this if this helped you out or if you just enjoyed this video at all go ahead and like this video subscribe because i'm going to be doing more of these tutorials i know it's pretty simple at the moment but i'm going to try to get more complicated after i get past these really easily uh, tutorials to start off